I spoke with a family attorney, Robert Zimmerman, who alleges that Google failed to correct their GPS mapping system, which led people down an apparently dangerous road. In that lawsuit, the attorneys allege that Google was notified for years that this bridge was impassable and had collapsed. He also claims that neighbors in the Hickory community where this accident happened last September also notified Google about the problem, but the GPS system was never updated. According to the family and their attorneys, last September on a dark Dark and rainy evening, 47 year old Philip Paxson was leaving a birthday party for his daughter and used Google Maps GPS system to guide him home. The family says the directions led him over a washed out bridge where his Jeep plunged into a creek below and he died. You know, Phil was um, a great dad. I mean, that was one of his favorite things. <laughs> he said, you know, his most important job ever was, you know, being the girl's dad. So, um, I mean, and just having some major, you know, part of your family just ripped out. Um, it's obviously, you know, difficult. Um, a representative from Google responded to the complaint with the statement that reads, we have the deepest sympathies for the Paxton family. Our goal is to provide accurate routing information and maps, and we are reviewing this lawsuit. We also reached out to the other companies the family attorneys claim are linked to the bridge in this lawsuit, but we haven't heard back from them yet. In Raleigh, Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.